Scarborough Agent Court. Thank you, Speaker. My question is for the Minister of Education. Minister, as you know, today is the International Day of Pink. The Day of Pink is an anti-bullying initiative which began in Nova Scotia after grade 9 students who was bullied in the school for wearing pink. Two students who witnessed the incident brought pink shirts to fight against bullying and stand with the students. Now, young people across Canada, including schools in my riding of Scarborough Agent Court, are wearing pink today to draw the attention to the harmful effects of bullying. This demonstrates the importance of speaking up against the form of discrimination and homophobia. It also demonstrates that together we can stop bullying and end discrimination, particularly in our schools. Speaker, through you to the minister, can she please inform the House why it's so important that our schools are welcoming and safe places for Ontario students? Thank you. Minister of Education. Yes, thank you very much, Speaker, and thank you to the member for Scarborough Agent Court for her question, because it is so important that we all take a stand and say we will not accept bullying in our schools. And you know, as the chair of the Safe Schools Action Team and a Minister of Education, I've visited schools all across the province that are taking a stand across, against bullying. And I think of one school I visited in Guelph, actually, uh, and visited with, with the students in the Gay Straight Alliance, the GSA, at this school. And they told me about one of the things that they thought had had the greatest impact that they had done was that they had arranged to meet with the staff in the staff cafeteria and actually had a very open conversation with the staff about things the staff could do differently in the school uh, to create a better atmosphere for yes, gay and lesbian students. Another student told me that she wasn't gay she wasn't lesbian, but the, the GSA has Thank supported you. her in her bullying situation. Thank you. Thank you. Supplementary. Mr. Speaker, initiatives like the International Day of Pink shows that our young people want to stand up to bullying. But we know that bullying doesn't just happen in our classroom, Mr. No. Speaker. It occurs on internet, on websites like Facebook and Twitter. Yeah. We also know there have been tragic incidents of young people taking their lives because of bullying they have received in the classroom and online. Speaker, through you to the minister, can she inform the House what our government is doing to combat bullying outside the classroom? Good question. Good. Minister. And the, and the member is absolutely correct. Bullying actually often does occur outside the school, which is why, for the first time in Ontario, we have recognized cyberbullying in legislation and included cyberbullying as part of the definition of bullying. We've also given principals the authority to take action when there is negative, when there is bullying that takes place online that has a negative impact on the school. And I think of one school that I visited here in Toronto that actually took the action uh, beyond just looking at the students' cyberbullying. They actually set up an email line where kids could report bullying online. And the vice principal monitored that, and the school was able to set up uh, workshops for the Sir. kids about homophobia or about racism or about ethnic discrimination and deal with all sorts of facets as a whole school Thank community you. and reduce bullying. Thank you.